Hello, this is Gemma from Church for Black Men. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this. Uh, I wanted to make this video because I was utterly and absolutely disgusted by the black TV interview that he did with D.L. Hewley. Uh, please take in mind that I appreciate and watch Vlad's interviews and have appreciated the insight of D.L. Hewley, especially on the issue of race for a while. Uh, but after watching this interview, I realized that I would never again listen or support either Vlad TV or D.L. Hewley because of the comments and the jokes that they made over the death of missionary John Chow. Again, while they were speaking about different topics, religion came up and it got to the point where they both laughed at the death of missionary John Chow, who was recently killed. This notion, American Christians are, are, are the most violent, judgmental, least forgiving. Like there was that guy that left America. Remember the 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 uh, evangelist that left America and went to the most remote island in the world. This island was fifty to sixty thousand years old, and he was going to teach G about Jesus. Um, and then they shot arrows at him, and it landed in the Bible. So I want to respond to his comment about American Christians being the most unforgiving, violent, unloving people. Number one, imagine if he said that about Muslims or Jews. Imagine the response. Number two, I recognize that Christianity has a history that oftentimes is not bright. But number three, I recognize that humanity has a history that is not bright. That is why the gospel calls for us to believe in Christ, who is the light. One of the arrows, motherfucker, if you get shot in the Bible with an arrow, if a motherfucker shoots you in Ecclesiastes, it's time for you to turn around. Maybe that's Jesus telling you that they ain't ready to hear about you. But the idea of these people believing, if you've been around that long, maybe you know Jesus. Maybe it just ain't the one. What do we love more? We love God so much, we put God on our money. We say dumb yep. shit like... Um, um, so here, D.L. Healy shows really his ignorance of Jesus, the words of Christ, or the gospel. Jesus himself said, go into all the world and make disciples. That's a command from God himself to go into every place and share his message. So not knowing that just simply shows that he is ignorant of really the Jesus that he claims to talk about. That I mean, the fact that someone is so arrogant that they were going to go and enter an island that was completely prohibited from anyone entering, most, mostly because of disease, right. because these people have been isolated for so long that, you know, a cold will wipe out that whole colony, essentially. The fact that you feel that Jesus is guiding you and knows better than these people to the point where you illegally enter this place and then, place and then get killed in the process. Jesus never works out for the people who are receiving it. Like when they land on the island, it ain't good for them. It's good for the people bringing them. Maybe those natives over there heard about our natives and they wasn't ready for casinos. Right. And they and they didn't want Thanksgiving. When when, when something like that happens, I am it thrills me that it happened. You that's what you fucking oh. deserve. So it's really the most offensive part of D.L. Hewley's hate speech, basically saying that he was thrilled at the death and the murder of John Chow and that he got what he deserved. You know, you recognize that people who don't know Christ say all types of things. Sometimes we who know Christ say all types of things. But one of the most reprehensible things you can do is rejoice in the death of someone uh, for this cause. You know, this was really troubling because I really appreciated the work and the words of D.L. Healy in his fight for social justice, racial justice, political justice. Uh, but by his comments, I believe that he has completely and utterly disqualified himself uh, for speaking for and from the black community at all. I'll no longer listen, support either him or Vlad TV, and I encourage others not to support him as well. Jomo Johnson, Black Men.